distance so that I can actually... Okay, there we go. Okay, so, off screen, I did a little bit of grinding, just a little bit. Everybody's level 44. And I'm hoping, I've also done a little bit of upgrading, just a little, just a little bit. Um, I got Hendrik, his plus three avalanche axe. I'm thinking I, now, now that I think about it, I should probably try and get this up a little bit. Yeah, it boosts both his might and mending. So yeah, first thing we're going to do on the stream is forge a little bit. Let's see. I have two. How much does it take to reforge the Sage of Staff? Twelve. Okay, that's not bad. Do something that gives me five pearls. I think the Cautery Sword does that, but I can't do the Lava Lump. Do I have any other... Demon's Bane? I can't buy Saint Sashes. So I can make this one. Hey, Zach. That was fast. I think it's probably the earliest you've been here, I want to say. Just getting pearls right now because I'm gonna upgrade um, Rab's staff, and then I'm gonna take another crack at the uh, Gildiga boss. If I just forged another one of those, and I'll be golden. says the part first this time. Okay. Artifacts just pearls. That's all I needed. And then rework Rab Sage's staff. I have been struggling way too hard with this boss. Um. Fizzly Puff. Flourishes Multi Bash. All focus costs halved. Ooh. Oh, didn't get it that time. Alright, so let's lightning bash you. And then we'll do a normal bash on this. And then lightning bash it. Okay, that's fine.
All right. Plus two is fine. Okay, so now... Now we're gonna take one more shot at Gildiga. We almost had her last time I tried. And I've grinded a bit last night. So we should be fine. Uh, grab this ice crystal. I don't want to fight anyone else before I get to her, because I'm afraid that if I get too strong, then I won't get any experience from the boss. Which would suck. I'm busy! Nope, of course not. Just attack. Ow. Here we go. I also switched. Um, Eric's weapons because Boomerang's a little pointless against single enemies. Wait, did I take a wrong turn? I didn't. I'm good. Ah, come on! You are not worthy of my time! I think I need to go this way. And then through here. Okay. Um. Alright, now let me think. I want to... 50, 90... Andy. I transfer these. <clears throat> Rev is basically our designated healer. But... Hendrick lasts longer. Um, does anything... I don't think anything cures petrification. Apparently I still have this for whatever reason. Oh. That's what it does. Okay. Infuse a single enemy. Awaken a sleeping ally. I should probably use these. I don't know if they'll work. I'm hoping they will. And then items, item bag, magic water, use it on, see I'm missing 20, Rab's missing 
less than 10. Just use it on me. Here goes nothing! <clears throat> Skip this cutscene again. Let's do this. There we go. Fight! At least tell me this works. Take this! Yeah, of course it doesn't. No, I would rather not do that, actually. Okay, fine. A buff. Is forbearance a spell or something? Alright, let's see. Have to go with what I got. Hiya! Okay. Rab took all of that. Good job. Wait a minute. I can do the solar flare. Yes! <laughs> that was pitiful. I want to say that it takes more damage from lightning damage now. I think that's what it said. Alright, I think poisoning works. Eventually. I may have done the wrong ability there. Takes more damage from lightning damage, then maybe. Uh, that wasn't nearly as much as uh, Unbridled Blade would have done. It did say that. Okay. Um. Double edged slash. Will this work? Holy shit! Pearly Gates is a lightning move. Okay. Well, for right now... I'm going to multi-heal. I don't know how long that lightning resistance down will last. <clears throat> okay. Alright, um, abilities, pearly gates. Still didn't do anything. <clears throat> okay, that really wasn't much of a help. I think more heal would have done more. Accelerate. Of course! First and foremost, multi-heal. Okay. Good to know y'all are stupid. Um, abilities. No, it was Cobra Strike. <clears throat> his lightning resistance is gone, or is back up again. Gildiga! Like Come on, get poisoned! Now, both of my zingers are gone. I just remembered something. There we go. Okay.
Let's not do double edge slash again. Let's do Helm Splitter. And then Cobra Strike. Come on! Why won't you get envenomated? And Eric goes down. Damn it! All right, I played this one a little bit recklessly. You won't get away with this. Lightning thrust, maybe. Oh yes. This is not good. Any day now. There we go. Gildiga is almost down, but I probably won't kill her in this turn. I missed entirely. Even better. Alright, I played that one really recklessly this time. Let's try this again with a little less stupid. From the last place visited. I lose 12,000, but I'm not here for the money right now. Um, uh, I can hide out. Oh, wait, let me change my lineup back up. Okay, let's try to do this with a little less stupid. Emphasis on try. Early gates did not do as much damage as I would have liked. Open the door. Okay. Then we go this direction. Up here. Then stop. You're annoying. Go through here. Through here. Hurry up. Okay, here we go again. Let's go. Come on, Cobra Strike. Work with me here. Yes. Are you serious? Alright. Victimizer? Yes, please. Well, that 
Didn't work. Oh, it clears out her poison. That's annoying. Um, buff himself real quick. Okay. Come on, please work. Rab, wake up. Fuck. Really? I just got here. I'm already down two people, and both of them are my zingers. The hell is this? Okay, that was a bad move. Wait, that? That was the six times? That was pathetic. Maybe better off if I just left you with your poisoning. The hell! This is annoying. Do I have Yggdrasil do? I think I do. This is not gonna go well. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Lightning thrust. Gildiga still isn't even in yellow yet. And I missed. Okay. This one's definitely a bust. And okay. Down we go. Again. Twelve twenty, yeah. <sighs> the auto save doesn't matter at this point. Because I'm just going through without fighting anything anyway. So I'm not trying to increase my level right now. Unless I run into something. Granted, this thing probably won't. I didn't want to use that one, actually. <sighs> Should I use Caster Sugar? Crap. Oh, wait, he has Crack now. And gain any experience. Yep, that guy didn't matter, except for a little bit of gold and a gold chunk. Leave me alone! Assassin stab? Nope. Did a lot of damage, I think.
All right. Another day, another victory. Go through door. Here we go. <sighs> Uh, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Cobra Strike. Get it? Nope. Ow. Okay. Abilities, cast of sugar. Increase the effectiveness of the user's spells. The old hey. There we go. Um Should I double edge slash? Probably not. Helm splitter. Yes, the defense decreases. Keep going with the cobra strike. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna leave her like that. I'm not gonna go with the uh the six times damage ability. We're just gonna let, let her take the poison. Unbridled blade. And then spells. We're gonna go with crack. 65. Okay, that wasn't all that good. Um, abilities. Do another helm splitter. Defense decrease slightly. So now she's minus two. And we have two golden boys. Um, items? Sleeping hibiscus won't work. Can be used to blast enemy with blades of stinging ice. I feel like that's not great. I'll try it. Nope, it would have been better to just hit her. Or, you know, use Mountain Mover, the spell that's... Christ. Okay, uh, Axes of Evil on the Guild of Nots just to get rid of them. Alright, spells... Actually, I'm going to lead Zing to him. Abilities, Unbridled Blade, yes. Okay. Spells, please work. Zing on Eric. Yes! Thank you. Alright. Abilities... Okay, his defense is still down. His hack is up. Um. I guess just use parallax right now. Um. No. Fuck off. Okay. Spells. Mountain Mover. Yes! Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're dying very quickly. Shisa. Is her defense? Her defense return to normal, so I need to do Helm Splitter again. Um, can I do anything with this? I can divide. That's something I can do. I should have done dodgy character too. 
Let me more heal myself this time. Okay. We're doing something, I hope. Down I go. Abilities, Helm Splitter. Um, abilities. No, just attack. There we go. Ow. Still here somehow. Okay. Spells. Come on, zing me back to life. Thank you. Alright, and you use more heal on Eric. As long as we're standing, doppelgangers have disappeared. Abilities, dodgy character. Abilities, unbridled blade. 477. Alright, looks like Mountain Mover disappeared. Can't put it back on him right now. Um, anti magic? No. Um, deals a freeze. No. Uh, items? You don't have any items. Okay. Spells. Let me see this again. Sap. No. Blunt. Oh no, it's in she's no longer envenomated. That's not good. Okay, spells. Zing on Hunter. Come on. Wake up. Shisa. Um, Axes of Evil on the Gildenauts. Okay. As long as I don't have to deal with that bullshit. Am I still? I'm not dodgy anymore. I am dodgy right now. Oh. Very similar in character. <laughs> All right. Uh, spells more. No, all more heal on Hendrik. Abilities. Is her defense down? It's not. So let's do Helm Splitter. All right, and abilities. Cobra Strike. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on. I really want this... Uh... Crap. I really want this experience to go to everybody. Still here. More heal on himself. This probably won't go too well. Doppelganger's disappeared. Um... Abilities... Attack. Ooh. Abilities. Parallax. I'll risk it. Okay, that didn't work. Um. Spells. Zing. Come on. Come on! Shite! Then down he goes. Down he goes. Okay. Come on. There we go. Don't kill me immediately. 
Kill me immediately. Oh, it works! <laughs> oh, shit! They missed that! Damn it! That's a lot of experience that everybody just missed. Corsair's cap. Pirate's hat. Thing's lost control of her power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's gonna spread like wildfire. I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. Mmm. I think I said yes last time. I wonder if it'll matter? Oh, I have to. Okay. <laughs> my kid sister I have to try and save her Why can't we go back to how things used to be? When we'd fight, and laugh, and fight some more? When all we had was each other. We didn't need money. We didn't need anything. I don't care how poor, and cold, and hungry we were. I want it back. I don't need this. I don't need gold! And just like that, the curse is lifted. <sighs> nice work, Eric. You've just lost us a fortune. 
Makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Your sister was a vessel for a power beyond human understanding. It has taken a terrible toll. We must let her rest. But do not fear, my child. Her life is not in danger. In time, she will recover. I owe you. Mia owes you. Here. You should have this. The seer told me that if I helped the luminary, guess he knew what he was talking about, huh? <laughs> We'd better make a move. Mia's safe here for now. Which is good, because I've got things to be getting on with. Like helping you take Mordigan down. Not at this rate. <laughs> the way things are going, I'll end up killing him with Silvando and, uh, poison effect. Alright, he's got some new things on his character builder, that's good. I don't know if I can get any of them yet. Ooh. Let's see. Critical hit chance. Attack power plus 30. Nastier knives. Increases the chance of inflicting status, status ailments with knives. That would be grand. That's 14, though. That's swords. Sticky fingers increases chance of stealing when using half inch. Increases chance of dodging enemy attacks. A dream ability that can ensure a critical hit on an enemy. This is the move. This is the move that lets me take down metal slimes like no one's business. Let's see now. I don't know how much I just gained, but I'm going to drop off a lot of money here in the bank. Deposits. All of it. Didn't get anything for 250. Okay. I wonder if I'd get more accolades if I took all that money and put it on my person. Grabbing 100,000 gold coins on one person at once. Alright. Now I'll just put it all back in. Alright. Moving on. I think I gotta go 
this way? I don't know if there's an exit. There's not an exit. Okay, I gotta go around. Oh god, this next part is going to be hell. Because I have to, like, immediately fight another boss. Weather Cow, what is your wisdom? Clear at night. Perfect weather for adventuring, so grab the bull by the horns and get out there. I still don't know what that means for me in terms of monster hunting. Uh, let me think. I want to go south. I guess we'll be fighting everything on the way there. Uh, Prowler Jowler. Is that in the game? I know this guy is exceptionally tough. Maybe not. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Naughty! <laughs> It always entertains me when Rab kills something with a stick. Anyway, we're heading south. I wonder if there's something over here I can grab. There's a chest. Seed of sorcery. On that for a second. Uh, vicious drummer. Alright. You can't really do anything against multiple enemies without boomerangs. I don't have any points in this boomerang branch. More people. Ow. All en oh, it's all enemies. Another one bites the dust. All right. Apparently, I didn't get any experience from that. So we're just going to move on to the snare felt. Haveth we here? Let's take you. Oh, now we're seeing the snow leopards in full size. Okay. Abilities. This is quadra slash everything. Nice. And then spells. Crackle. Still here. Not anymore. Thirty-eight twenty-five. I may or may not actually need this guy, now that I think about it. Why me specifically? All right. Um, let me think. Spells, mountain mover, a group of enemies. Okay, now that's not it. Let's just 
attack the crack build. And down I go! They are relentless in attacking specifically me. This is not going well. Hmm. No. That didn't work at all. Down he goes. Hmm. This isn't going well. Like at all. The axes of evil haven't even gotten them into yellow. This is terrible. What the hell? I'd like to run. I can't run. I severely underestimated these guys. Let me go! What the fuck? Let me go! No! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. God! <laughs> that was a slaughter! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh no! Okay, uh, <laughs> character builder, Eric, let's actually put something into your boomerangs, buddy. Um, accuracy, attack power, accuracy, power throw. What does this do? This is a knives attack. Dodge chance plus three. Knives attack a, a knives slot. Ah! Can I do anything with four? Yeah, that costs six. Oh no. Oh, this is fucking terrible. think of it. Maybe I should increase Eric's swords instead and get him to Dragon Slash so he can use the dra the, the Dragon Blades. That's probably what I should do instead. Because I know what the next thing is that I have to fight down here. And it's... Last I remember, it was tougher than Gildiga. Oh shit. 
abilities. Can I put you to sleep? No. Okay, fine. Alright. That was whack! Thank god that didn't work. That's up to the Hexwood. I'm supposed to go to the Arborean Highlands, which is fine, actually, because I do need to get to this campsite. Because I decided to switch out uh, Eric's abilities real quick. Um, real quick. Let me see about making another one of those swords. Swords. Forge, weapons, swords, the dragon's bane. I can buy if I have fifty nine forty two more. Well, like we are in fact going to be fighting some things unless you sell them. I feel like somebody was selling dragon's blades. Just sell the avalanche axe. Uh. You also sell ingredients, that's interesting. Okay. I feel like somebody was selling the dragon's plates, but I forget who. With this, I'll be able to teleport back here when I need to. Back to Stempelheim City. sell them? You do! I only need one more. I, mean, I, I could probably do two more. Oh, there's a back way. Excuse me, sir. I'm about to fill for your pockets real quick. This took 3,000 gold from right behind him. What is this, Skyrim? <laughs> just sell him what- just, uh, just buy what I need and then pocket the money from his pocket. Alright, how much for that again? 11,000? I just need another 6,000. Alright, that's easy enough. Alright, we go over here. Grab it out of the bank. Draw six. All right, and then go or yonder.
by the dragon's pain. Give it to Eric. Alright. I am thoroughly preparing for the next fight. Uh, equipment. Eric. You. You. Yes. There we go. Now our next step is to improve these things a little bit. Alright. I'm gonna spend a lot of time. Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you think he's trying to chat them up? That would be mortifying. He's overcome with crippling embarrassments and can't talk. Ah, rectification. Or everybody's level 44. Eric. Alright. Take all of your knife stuff. I'm gonna have to get your dual wielding back. Other than that, I... Fuck. Uh, Alright. Costs a lot of money! Uh, my neck itches for some reason. Nope. Echo. Rectification. Eric, take knives. Fix that in a second. Take boomerangs. That's good. Okay. Um. Miscellaneous character builder for Eric. I have to do dual wielding first. Alright, now swords. Which one's dragon slash? That one? Nope, not you. And you. What's under here? Falcon slash. Ooh. Double slash attack. Okay. Um... Critical chance up would be good. Metal slash is not useful right now. This is sword stance. This is attack power up. Pretty sure this just unlocks miracle slash. So the more cost effective one. Attack power up. Attack power up. Fuck, I need one more. Do I have a seat of skill? No, I think I used it on him earlier. Let's see, these are a sleeper hit and cursor cutter. Victimizer and cover strike. What is this one? This is a knives move. This is a swords move. I only need one more to get that attack power boost. Which would be great. I can't really do anything right now. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this will be fantastic once I get that. Okay. Equipment. Eric, need the other Dragon's Bane, actually. This one is dominant hand. Okay. 
then one size forge. I need to rework these. No, not forge them, rework them. Eric. I need 13, so I need a total of 26 at least. Um, which I need money for. So, I need to grind anyway. Uh, the Snarefelt campsite? Yes. Okay. Where to now? I don't want to go to the Arborian Highlands yet. I need to grind here. And I don't want to fight those mecha machinations first. What do I actually need? Hold up. 10, 40, 22, 4. So, oof. this could take a while. Hmm. Um. Okay, that worked. Ow. Okay. Uh, abilities. Let's do Quadra Slash. And then you. Zam. Oh. Ow. There we go. Okay, that's. That works. He has 13 now, though I can't use him for him right now because he doesn't have any swords. I don't want to fight you. Let's try fighting you some more. Just a small group of people. Should be fine. Hack. Let's see the cat. Abilities, quad slash. Let's just moiterize them. Huh. Easy. Alright, that's Hendrick up to 45. He now has 19, I think. Yes. So what can I do with that? This will cost him 16 for Hatchet Man. Okay, cool. Ice crystal, ice crystal. Neat. All right. Let's keep fighting these things, I guess. Ooh, that's a good grouping. Maybe I should get Metal Slash. Another time. Um, abilities. Helichopter. Alright, that didn't do nearly as much as I'd hoped. Um... Crack. I really need my better spread magic user. Axes of Evil. That'll do it. 2964.
go for you. Okay. Um. Let's do Flame Slash on the Silver Saber Cat. Okay. I don't know what that did. That's just spells. It's fine. And spells. Let's just try and whack the Vicious Crack build. Yep, that worked. Uh, Quadra Slash. See ya. Okay, almost had him. Not quite. Ow. Just clear him out. There we go. And stay down. All right. Now I'm 45. All right, what can I do with 15? Put that in Sword Mastery, maybe? Giga Smash. Giga Crash. Okay, so this is a lightning ability. And this is a huge sword technique that includes lightning. That's poof. Targets all enemies and makes them disappear. I don't know if poof would count as an experience thing, though. A clang? I don't really want to use a clang, but I want I want to know what's in there. I actually want hmm. Want more health. Okay. What's next on the menu? Let's see what's up this direction. A fight, bitch. Try Dragon Slash on it. A little better than Flame Slash, I think. Once Eric levels up, that means I'll have everybody up to 45. Because he takes the most right now for some reason. Let's do Axe of Evil on the Saber Cats. More heal on Eric. Here we go. Abilities. Let's just attack this one that's about to go down. There we go. And we'll have you attack the, that one. And then you zamble this one. And then home splitter. Okay, that didn't work. No. There we go. Bleh. All right, this is definitely going a lot faster than before. So he'll, if I do two more like that, I'll get him to level up. He'll need a little more time. I need to fight more of these. Well, actually, I'm gonna go check out what's over here. Just one around. I thought you were enemies. Pardon me, sir. Is it swimming through the air? <laughs> Too many different enemy types. Easy peasy lemon sneezy. There's a thing up here. Grab that. Mirror stone. All right. <laughs> Somewhere. That's such a nice detail. Alright, I fell off a cliff. Ah, yes, that thing. 
forgot about you. It's terrifying. Okay. So I can't do anything that attacks multiple people with a sword. some <laughs> don't earn any experience of course not hello heavy hoods I should have gotten Falcon slash that works oh because that makes sense Axes of evil. Nope, still there. There you go. Another one bites the dust. 2016. I defeated 2,000 monsters so far. Okay. How are we doing? 19, 400. Um, okay, there's got to be a some stronger around here. Like you. Get any MP for that. There we go. Alright, so Rad's at 45. <clears throat> now, can you do anything with 11? Hawkeye Claw, 12. Ring of Ruin for 10. I'm doing this all around. Things are really gonna change up once I get um Serena back on the team. You want some? Yeah, no, that was useless. Just delete you. Demo you and attack you. You're still here. Of course you are. Attack. And then you go. There we go. So Flame Slash actually did less damage than a normal attack. As far as Um Nope. As far as Eric is concerned. experience for it. Okay. Worked out in my favor. Hello. You're not going to go down nearly as easily, I hope. There we go. Okay, that was pretty easy. Huh. Easy. 14, 12, 22. Fine. Oh, a hammer hood. Nope. 
Not a hammer hood, a uh, heavy hood. It's a start. Oh, apparently these things are heavy enough that they don't get thrown away by the robot that I'm driving. Okay, that's one down. Ow. I was gonna say, don't kill Eric immediately. Nope, still here. Spells. Crackle. Alright, I got one of them. There we go. Jade. Jade can't really do anything with nine. Attributes, how close are we? 9,000. Almost there. And I struggled with the last boss at 44. Let's go. go. And six. Good year. Alright. Alright, this is a bit more reasonable than the last thing I fought, which was insanity. Okay, that's not a good sign. I think this hits everybody. Yes. Okay, that's good. Ow. Hatchet man? No. Blind man's biff. That didn't work. There we go. We have carried the day. Aw. How'd you leave, Zach? And out equipment. Um four thousand to go. I want to say fighting these things will get me that four thousand. Flame slash on the saber cat. It does a lot of damage using that. Abilities. Helicopter on the face invaders. Let's do early gates. Almost got him. Axes of evil. I imagine that this should do it. Yes. You have 20 now. All right. Let's see. Swords. Echo slash, metal slash. Right. I want to get your attack power up. 
Attack power plus 35? What is happening? <laughs> it just keeps going up. There's an ability... Oh, wait. It's probably on one of these hidden ones. But there's an ability that basically makes it so that he becomes ambidextrous when dual wielding. I want to say... Anyway, I could actually just do this. Let's zoom to the Snare Felt campsite. Just to make it over there safely. Okay. Nice. I don't have any perfectionist pearls, so I need 26. Oh boy. I can make these. I can try to make these. As long as I don't fail, I'll get pearls for it. I'm not going to use it right now, so it's fine. I'm just trying to get the pearls out of it. I get eight for each of those. going to be a much more difficult endeavor. And it needs to be. Alright, I don't need this extra Fenrir Fang. Don't need the Pirate's Hat. Corsair's Cap is part of the outfits. I literally can't use any of this. The trident is useless. Oh. Nope, come on. I don't know about that one. Alright. I have made a fortune selling off my useless shit. Still can't rework his items. Just have to keep going, I guess. Let's see, it was. Hold on, hold on. Browse material. No, view. No. I can't sort by difficulty or anything like that. That's a little annoying. Alright, Fenrir Fang. I need 26. Three of these will get me to 24.
Okay. One more. Knives, the Fenrir Fang. Yes. Flourishes, multi dash. Let's sell the puck real quick. Keep this up. Oh. Oh, that was a little too close. Okay. Perfect. We're done. Ooh. All right, we have 24. I only need two more. Let's just do something simple. Now I can reforge the dragon blades. Rework. Eric's. Let's reforge the worst one first. I believe this increases my crit chance drastically. All right, that's enough. Let's double whammy this. Bash you, perfect. Bash you, perfect. Double whammy you. And lightning bash you, perfect. Come on, that is right on the money. Nice. All right, I'm pretty sure that two. I want to rework the worm thing. It would give it plus seven attack. Eric. With the plus 84. So it would be plus four. Hmm. I'm going to rework the worm fang. Because right now, Eric has a plus two and a plus three. Damage than I anticipated.
Okay. I think I should be good. Perfect. All right. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. Save here. Oh boy. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go. Okay, I want to walk around you. I just healed. And look, we now have a massive hole in the ground. Where a giant dragon used to be. Wonder where he is. Something is not right here. Be on your guard. <gasps> Behind me. Found him. They look a lot stumpier when they're straight out like that. Since time beyond memory, I have been sealed away in that frozen fjord. But now I am released. I have a bit of a, my a list going. Imprisonment. Has surely depleted my powers. If the skies above Sniffleheim are to once more dance with fire, then first I must feast. You shall have the honor of being the auroral Sarpans Sabal. Let's see how terrible this is gonna go. I currently have two people equipped with blades designed for dragons. One of them has Dragon Slash now, I believe. He should. He does. Um... Dark Fire and Earth Attacks. Should I do that? Yes. Alright. Abilities. Unbridled Blade. 613. It's a good start. Abilities. Hatchet Man. Oh, hell yeah. That powers. No. Abilities. No. Caster Sugar. Alright, we're fine. That's less so. Abilities. Dragon Slash. Okay, the second one missed, but that was fine. Spells, fire and earth attacks. He doesn't have any fire moves, so I'll just examine him. Okay. This is going decently, I think. I really should have multi heal instead. I can 
keep going. Uh, let's have you more heal Eric. Still here. Let's try Sap. Ow. Okay. Um. We do that less, please. Come on, Eric. I really want everybody to get experience from this. Come on. Fuck. 50% my ass. Still here somehow. Come on, snap out of it. Thank you. Ready for That's probably not going to be enough. Okay, we're fine. Maybe I just unbridled blade him anyway. Fuck. Oh, I was so close this time. That was good. He currently has no swords. Which is bad, because he also has Dragon Slash. Missed. Makes sense. Alright, she's knocked down. I have something, at least. Okay. Not bad, actually. Alright, that was not the move I wanted to do. Fine. Less so. I mean, I'll go until the last stand. But I know I'm not gonna win. I almost had it. I almost had it. I just played a little bit smarter that uh, the next time. Uh, the last autosave. Okay, save. Last place visited. Do that. No, it wouldn't have mattered if I did last save. Fuck. It's the same cost. Snarefolk campsite. Woo! Line up you for you, you for you, confirm. And save. <laughs> what am I doing that makes a weird vibration in my teeth? All right, I can definitely do this at level 45. I don't want to have to keep grinding every time. 
I come across a more difficult boss. I think this is definitely something that I can do. Something is not right here. All right, skip. It's the same thing. All right. Divide. Let's do it like this. Dragon Slash. Whoa! <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> um, Insulatal. I don't know why I didn't think to do this before. Um, abilities, Hatchet Man. Missed. Shit. I used all my luck. Of course. Abilities, Dragon Slash. Um, spells. Let's do more. No, uh, let's do multi heal. Abilities, Hatchet Man. Fuck, I missed again. Used all my luck on those three in a row. Abilities, Dragon Slash. I think we're doing decent. Multi heal. Doing fine. Defense returns to normal. That's not good. Ow. There we go. Time to duck and dive. Okay. Uh, do you have sap? No, you have zap. I'm just gonna have to go with what I got. I forty four spells. I want no. I'm gonna do it like this: multi heal, and then Hendrix next turn. I'll use scrap metal. Probably not. I don't know if the uh, defense lower connected. Ah, of course. He's almost down. Can I... No, doesn't look like it. Uh, let's do... Insulatal again. Restore this. And then... Helm Splitter. Okay, Scrap Metal is stronger. That's not good. That's worse. Okay. Why, though? Why, though? Why, though? Okay. Come on. Okay. <sighs> I'll take it. <gasps> you are strong. Uh. Just like the detest of a luminary. The one who sealed me away. All those years ago. But where Adwin succeeded, you shall 
succumb. Ah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> that worked. That worked pretty well. Don't worry, everyone. I'll have you back on your feet in no time. Now that I've learned how to actually utilize weapons, she's going to be much more useful than she was in my first playthrough. Who? No way. Bold luminary, Idrisil's chosen. Long have I waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Your rhyming scheme's a little weird because it's all the same word. It's ever so nice to see you all again. Serena, it's really you. Thanks for helping us out there. Where did you spring from, and where have you been? I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffelheim Harbor had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckoned you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Would you mind awfully if I tagged along with you? We got Serena back! Just like the best healing factor in this entire game. Like, holy shit. And she can dual wield those single wands, which if further increases her magical we'll mending. We'll be in Arborea in no time. Okay, we're all healed up, that's good. So we can just move on. Ooh! I wanna fight a bitch. You want some? Ow. Can't have that much left. Ow. on the Elysium bird. And I missed. 
Um, physical attacks aren't going to work on the Lage Lizard until that works, or until that goes down. If I had to use a spell... Frizzle. Zamel. There you go. And stay down. Just... There you go. Alright, I just need for her to go through a little hardship. So she can unlock her full potential. I sound like such an ass. <laughs> Come on, you're still not down. There you go. Ooh. Lovano go to 46. Nah, we're good. Who's next? Ah, yes. Egg. Oh, this will be fun. All the vicious runny eggs. That was easy enough. All is well that ends well. Hey, I got, I got nine in one fell swoop. Holy shit! All right, I can't do anything with that. So let's go down to luminary. That costs twenty for pep chance. Boof will cost me eight. Holy protection. Do this one. Go there. The clang. I don't want the clang. But I'm curious as to what all of this is. Let's see, how long do I have to go? That's how far. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get poof and see what's underneath here. Pep up. Brings all the user's powers to bear in order to achieve instant pep. Oh! It's an ability. Okay. Uh, let's go back round here. Can't jump that high. Alright, that's a statue that I don't want to fight. There's a thing up here. Butterfly wing. Uh, I think it's this way. My screen is so dark compared to this. Alright, maybe I will fight the statue this time. Let's see how much you give me. It's still here. That's impressive. There he goes. 12.02. Alright. Oh, you're a little useless without partners. Even the runny eggs gave me 4,000, I think. I beat them all. We've arrived at a ruined Arborea. Beautiful here before. <laughs> oh, 
poor little angels. Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. The parents are kind of plain. Danish. Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can... Oh. Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! They don't look anything like their parents. Can I just point that out? I don't think they're actually their parents. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? She, she's not here. But, but I thought she must have made her way home already. She's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. Prepare for heartbreak. Yes, it's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. Down yonder. You think Veronica's really here? If she is, she's keeping a low profile. When we were children, Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play. I was sure she would be waiting for me here. Veronica! Veronica, where are you? Oh. <gasps> ah, there she is! I knew it! <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones. You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this. I don't think she can. Veronica? Hmm? <laughs> Look, her staff is shining, and so is the mark on your hand. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? Let's find out. Transport it back to that dark day.
Veronica, you gave your life to save us. No. That's not even fair. There's no body to bury or burn. <laughs> What did you say earlier about, no! uh, if she saw Eric, she'd die? Oh, Veronica. Poor choice of words, buddy. Great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the symbol of all life. Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved child of Arborea. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. I thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister. Even in her darkest hour, Veronica thought not of herself, but only of protecting the luminary. She was a keeper to the last. Now, I ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame, that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. That's gonna smell awful. You ever smell burning hair? You Mordigan, why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter, how could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief, but the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, Please come to the cathedral. Hmm. Okay, the cathedral is up here. Forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness. But there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? For some days before your arrival, 
Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you, Ardent Luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet... Alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered... Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings. A beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision. And perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now, the day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while. Oh, hold this up. There we go. I've been sitting upright this entire time. It's not good for my back. Now we go over to the inn. Everybody's sad and forlorn. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna play that right now when we're in the middle of mourning. Ah. <sighs> And we got an error. Fine for right now. Can't pause it yet. There's a harp playing up here. Promise, promise, oh my love, thou wilt wait in bells above, that our leaves might bloom together. The time hath torn thee from my arms, and time hath wrought us countless harms. Time shall make us one forever. It's a love song from the Age of Heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long-lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <laughs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, Promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. If only I had promised to do as she asked. 
Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow. When it came to talking or walking or learning magic, I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path. Alone. <laughs> I hate to ask, but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. This is a bad time to get an error, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother. But I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life. For her sake. It's a bit more than a lock of hair. I never understood the significance of no cutting off your this. hair that like that. Goodbye. What in the world? I feel different. <gasps> Thank you, dear sister. And now she gains like double the the uh, the skill points whenever she levels up. It's insanity. <laughs> All right. Um. Let me think. Where- which one was her dual wielding in? What is this? Magical Mending. Dual wielding. There we go. That does that. That'd be helpful. Next. We want to work on her heavy wand abilities. Race of the Goddess costs 65. A beatific blessing that brings the user back to life if they bite the dust. So that's an anticipation kind of thing. There's the chance of getting a pep. The Elza Freeze. Anti-magic, anti-recovery, salvation, magical might. This, ring of ruin, okay. Um, what else do we have? We have vigor. Them, I mean. 
she has she got bigger originally. That's a spear thing. This is a vim thing. Okay. Enchanting Echo enables the user to occasionally cast the same spell twice at no extra cost. That's pretty good, but I'm going to focus on other things first. Channel Anger. Grail increases the damage done by any offensive spells the user casts. That will be good. And this is Sage's Breath. Razor restores the user's MP. Oh, what else should I do instead? In the Thunder. Spears, maybe? Spears sounds like a good idea. All right. We got her pretty set up now. Yeah. I do want to know. Hold up. Where is Forbearance? Is that a shield thing? Block and spiel? Does it require? Yeah, it requires that. Holy impregnable. Defense. Double up. Cut above. Dragon Slash, attack, uh... It must be under a hidden ability. Because if he had Forbearance, then he could block a lot of damage and take a lot of shit. Just go back up to my room or something. I need to talk to the lady. Hello, man. Yes. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, now it's just a matter of getting some new wands for her. Hi. Good morning! Or should I say good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone uh. ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. Alright. Do they have... They don't have a weapon shop. They have an item shop, I think. Do they sell weapons there? Looks like it. Gladius. The glow stick? It's a wand. It's a regular wand. Wow. Okay, so a couple of things. One, I want two of these. Next, I want the Hieroglyph Staff. Give that to Serena. And then I want a Paladin's Lance. I'm gonna sell some extra stuff, hold up. See, I don't... I 
don't need the shiver stick. Don't need the Fenrir thing. Don't need the iron broadsword. Oh, hold up. Don't need this fin. Wait, hold up. Okay, hold up. Yes. Because apparently I have another Fenrir Fang plus three now. Good thing I checked that. Okay, I think I have enough. I don't need the Falcon Knight Baron. Alright. Uh, equipment, I'm going to give you the second glow stick. And then you... No, hold on. Items, Eric. Let me put this one back into the bag. And then... Oh. Give you this Finrear thing. I want to use it. No! I don't want to use it! Transfer. Eric. There we go. And organize. There we go. Okay, Serena, organize. I can actually get rid of this. I can put this into the equipment bag. And this, I don't want to use it. In the equipment bag. And then it leaves this. Transfer the equipment bag. And with the equipment bag, and give her... No, I need to buy it first. We have another error. Stop doing this. Okay, I actually didn't want to equip it immediately. But oh well. I'll just deal with it later. Let us switch our lineup. I did she have oomph? She does have oomphful. Yes, that's perfect. So now I need to go this way. Go around? Oh, I need to go that way. This way. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so dark! I guess I wanted to be realistically lit, yes, but holy shit. Alright. Hello. All right. Here's where things get weird again. Because I'm a child. I'm so glad you could finally join us. Idrisil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. This is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. 
I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child. Of oh, course. My bad. I think I must be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? Get ready. <laughs> Look at this angle. <laughs> What? Why did it turn off in the first place? <laughs> but look at this angle, it's just... <laughs> and then... EXTEND! <laughs> That's my impression! Rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. <laughs> well, we got something. You got a bite! Oh, go on, darling! Reel it in! And... Up! It's a whale! A flying fish? No, that's a whale! <laughs> so it was as I suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary, Cetacea. It seems that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. <laughs> sure. Luminary, and seek out the floating island. It is the world tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain. Now, play. And up we go. Good evening. Good thing everybody had their eyes closed. That's such a derpy look in its eyes. We've got a thing. Alright, we got a couple of islands, but I think the specific one it wants me to go to is that one. Right? Yes.
So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here, too. I wonder how nobody has looked up and noticed, hey, island! Is that a temple of some sort? Well, they don't mention anything about hiding it or anything. Here. Shall we go and find out what it is? Like, once you get above the mountain line, it's just suddenly there. You can't look up and find it anywhere. Um, let's just go up here. I don't think there's any treasure chests yet. I think that's post-game. There, oh, there's a tuckle. I'll take a tackle. Hmm. I think that's it. Up we go. from behind there. Hi. Huh? What is it? Ah, it's you! It's so Dragon Ball. <laughs> the Watchers. And what are they? Of course. Ground dwellers not snow. Not snow of us. We watch over Erdria. Watch for as long as exists. Hey, welcome back. We just got to the Watchers. Oh, you know? The Watchers! And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many Watchers. But the Zack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains. Only me! That's awful. Mordigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? Guiding light burns within. Has burned since time began. Was in Temple of Dawn. Here. Was cleaning. Attack came, was protected by guiding light. He's a janitor. This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. Or was just oh, his turn, I don't know. We're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the guiding light might be it? Hmm, not known. Is not threatened. Cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to help. But I'm only trying. No little of world yet. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yes. But what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Not worry. And band. And watcher. Story of watchers not over. You meet Lord of Shadows. Then World Tree returns. Cycle restored. Life and rebirth. Dead ones get new life. My brothers, my sisters, all begins again. You're quite nonchalant about that. Please. Wait. You know who he is? Mm. Mm. In we go. I guess this is what I'm here for. Just looking at it. I'm about to take it for myself. Wait, the mark. That 
light just get squished down into that little thing? Most likely. I have acquired the guiding light. And now we have these things. I sense something very special in them. I know this feeling. Yggdrasil, I think you should take a closer look, don't you? I have a feeling they have something rather important to show us. Okay, I think this is going to tell me how I get the pieces for the new sword. Yes. So first, the big islands, you get the Orichalcum. You all saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... Ah, <gasps> uh, aye, I do. And I've a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we? Alright, so that was the Aura Calcum. Next. At Galopolis, I need the hammer. of that hammer was it just me or did it seem special somehow it was no weapon that much is certain a forging hammer if i'm not mistaken but what were they forging i wonder well i think we all know where they were at least don't we let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer the island for Orichalcum, Galopolis for the hammer, and... I think this is Hato for the forge. Gee, does that wand look familiar? Correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. <gasps> Wait, of course, the sword of light. Indeed, they would not have gone into battle with the dark one unarmed. Yes, that's the power we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. But Mordigan took it, right? Unless. Are these visions trying to say we need to... Yeah, that must be it. We need to make our own sword of light, just like the old heroes did. <laughs> All right, we've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Let's start by paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. It looked like they found that ore and another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need
need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? Uh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and uh, wherever that other island happens to be. It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. You'll be with us in spirit. I know it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Hunter explains everything he and his companions saw. I might have said there was none left in order to keep them away from it. Come on, you lot. If you forget purpose, if you need clues, come to me. Tales from Grandfather may help. Good luck! I forget if I'm gonna have to fight a boss for every place I have to go to. Now you zoom to travel to Hado and Galapagos. Okay. But for now... Go here. Yes. Can't skip this. this thing moves forward on its own. Mangle Grove, no. Alright, we want to go around you and we want to land here. <coughs> Okay. And there we go. I guess we're at the dark fog now. Hold up. Bracolite? That's a new one. And there's recipes around here that I can use. Okay. There's also these guys. I need to get Metal Slash for this guy.
Um... Swoosh? No. Frizzle. Sap. Pack. Bomber. There we go. Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't have a wand equipped. Let's, uh, let's change that real quick. She's gonna use magic, she gotta use the hieroglyph staff. Alright, there was nothing in that corner. Well, let's check the next corner. That will let me go down, which I don't want to do right now. I think there's actually something at the bottom here. I'm seeing. Oh, there's a, the mushrooms. So let me go around there. I think there's an enemy I can ride down here. Let me go through here first. Right with this. Incenium. That's an interesting one. I have completely forgotten what any of this does. Please be normal. Thank you. I didn't even think about it. Got a many metal. All right, some undead there. It has been an age and a fucking half since I had Serena. All right, let's drop dragons, and we have another error. Okay. Evangelizard. Cast Frizzle twice. Of course. That's one down. Okay, that didn't work too well. Still there. Not anymore. I'm gonna go back and keep heading down. Heh. <laughs> oh, we got a little group here. Uh, let's Dragon Slash the Evangelizard. And then we will. Cutting Edge the Smog Bonnet. That works. For you, we'll switch our equipment to Paladin's Lance, and then use Deliverance on the Armful. That went well. Get rid of you. Uh, let's do Flame Slash on the Armful. That works. That's fine. Attack the armful. Okay. Waste of a crit, if you ask me. I don't know if you're undead or material. Probably material. Do or sleep. Um, Eric's the one with cockatoo do, so that won't help me. So let's uh, helm splitter it. Why not? Still here. Y'all wake up. <laughs> Still here. Locked it. Well, that was useless. Oh, come on! That was 5,000? That would've been so good. Uh, 
Alright, this place is a little smarter this time. Let's keep at it. Dragon Slash the Evangelizard. Ow. Ow. Okay. Cutting Edge the Smog Bonnet. That takes that out. Mostly fine. Um, it was Tingle. There you are. Abilities. Let's do Helm Splitter on the Armful. Defense decrease. Well, this isn't good. No, it's not. Why? Come on, just go down. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go this way, around here. Crack my neck a little bit. I may as well see what's through each of these. I got a chest. Recipe book for an encyclopedia of expert equipment. Ogre shields, brigands, mitts, titan belts. Useless shit. I mean, it's something I could probably use as far as selling it. But I can't actually use it in any capacity. Looks like this is a dead end with no reward. Okay, I think 46 is definitely going to have to be where I get everybody. Oh, but Serena is 43. This is an issue. Hello! Oh, please stick around for a little bit. Vicious Liquid Metal Slime would be awesome right about now. Now? I don't know if it probably won't work. Nope. Man, these things are slippery. I got it! Alright, now fuck off. Thirty-one thousand! Holy shit! <laughs> and you learn to crack. Jade went to forty-six. All right. Well, I know I got some hunting grounds to work with. Uh, let's see. Let's give her some spear boosts. Party pooper and thunder thrust. What is light? Where is lightning thrust? That's what I want to know. What is this one? This is a whip move. Be like water. Adopts a fluid flow that can greatly increase the number of parries performed and enables the user to counter. Interesting. Cost 25. Um, Parry paper cost 16. Half crackle poof. Purple sparkles protect a single party member from status ailments. Enables a party member to avoid instant death attacks when their HP is half or higher. Uh, 
Path of Salvation, Maximum MP up. Great, actually. Sage's Breath. Good maximum MP up. Okay. The so Whips takes up that area. I might need to activate one of them. This one. Hit the hay. Hypno Whip. Hypno Whip only costs three points, so I'll probably use that one to unlock whatever this is. I got a molten globule. All right. Come at me, metal slimes. You're not metal slimes. Okay. Ow. Wake up! What is the meaning of this? Come on, everybody's under some kind of influence. What the hell? I can probably take out the lethal armor. Unless he blocks one of my moves. Okay, axes of evil and the lethal armors. Thank you. Still here. Serena, wake up! God damn it. Crab is really putting the work in here. Okay, one stayed. Two stayed. Awesome. Um, abilities. Helichopter. Hit one of them. Um, abilities. Prod. I don't have... God damn it. I don't have party pooper. Should have gotten that. Um Alright. I think this is the one that has one hit. Hit one. I just need for Eric. Fuck. Fuck! No! Damn it! That would have been so much experience! Ah! Uh. Oh, come on! Really? <sighs> Boom. You're still here for some reason. Okay. That's one. And three. Nope. I'm mistaken. Uh, whoosh. Really? What? Right, at least everybody stayed alive this time. 
Okay, we're good. Okay, what can you do with that? 11? Uh, not sure. Uh, let me see swords again. This is another 35. He needs 16 for that. Uh, this requires 14. Really want to get critical claim. Be so useful. God damn, what do I do about that? I just reallocate so he automatically has critical claim. Let's do Flame Slash on the Smog Bonnet. That didn't do shit. Let's just wipe out as much as we can. I took out one. That's annoying, you know? Alright. Um... Abilities? No. What do I do? What does this do? Nothing. Spells. You have crack. It's still here. Why is it still here? This isn't good. You don't say! Thank you. There we go. We have carried the day. Fifty-six fifteen. Okay. Keep keep looking for metal slimes. I'll go after one more level up somewhere. Probably with Serena. Uh, it looks like it's going to be me first, actually. So, we'll see how this goes. Really? Ooh. Okay, so it's mostly this spot. Um, one, two. I am not pleased. like it all. <laughs> Salvando leveled up. Oh, come on! Dragon Slash, maybe? Nope. Just quadra slash the hell out of him. Alright, that hurt. Attack one. And the other. Indeed. I leveled up. Okay. What can I do with 10? Probably nothing. Luminar. I can do this. Agility plus 10. Okay. So now I have the resilience next. Got snakeskin from that? Alright, we'll just finish off this guy and then we'll head down. Alright. 
fine. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. It's just... Everybody die. You do a 16. Does not seem to be anything. Heroism is the only thing I really have left for you. Double up. Sacrifices defense in order to significantly increase attack. I mean, it's something. I can't really do anything much. All right. At least I know where my hunting ground for a vicious metal, um, metal bubble slime is. Metal liquid slimes. Is this what I'm looking for? Brighton Rock. And who the fuck knows what else? Ow! Seriously? Abilities, deliverance on the armful! Come on! <sighs> Axes of evil on the armful. A... Take down a... Oh, I didn't take down any of them. Um, abilities. Dragon slash the smog bonnet. That's one of them. Okay. Still sort of fine. Calm down. Fucking. Oh my. Just everybody fall. I got two of them. There we go. God damn. Okay, another bright rock and a red eye. All right, still going down. And there is a creature here that I can ride. Got a yellow eye. And a sunny citron. Alright, nothing else. Dragon Slash. Parallax the smog bonnet, because it's annoying. And cutting edge? Yes. Alright, now I can ride this. And now I can fight the other one. That didn't take it down. Let's just finish everything off at once. It's still here. All is well that ends well. How did you survive? I, I think I need to go through there. Yes, and that leads me to the camp. Okay. Uh, let's actually just dismount here. I can worry about other things later. All right. So here's where the camp is.
go ahead and level up this. Max focus plus two, cold blow. Brings down the temperature. And I can't use any of this. I can buy Densenium, apparently. Um, okay, there's no merchants in here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do if we rectify Eric a little bit. Or completely. No, you're actually fine. Alright, let's see. Let's build your guile up real quick. All the way to the top. And this will cost me 20. Critical claim, hell yeah. Now, that's attack power. I do want that. I have this, then this, then attack power, and attack power, and attack power. <laughs> Dragon Slash will cost 10. What is this? Fatal Flash. Uh, agility will cost 10. Deafness will cost 8. And this is... Falcon Slash. Okay. We've done some... reorganizing here. But let's see how this goes, shall we? Oh wait, I can work on Sylvando a little bit. I think. This boost is charm by 30. Eyes with 10. Which gives him dual wielding. Gives me deadly. Alright. Let's save. We'll see how this goes. Alright, with the critical claim, I imagine I should be able to do something against the metal slimes a little more easily now. Oh wait, I have to go down that way. Hold up. This direction. I got a molten globule. Island not just home to watchers, home to ore. Special ore, ore to banish darkness, or make special weapons. <laughs> okay. Do either of you accompany metal slimes? Wow. Let's switch to the Hieroglyph Staff. And Spells. Sizzle. Really? There we go. Our triumph was never in doubt. Okay, what about you? Do you accompany Metal Slimes? 
No, you're on your lonesome, like a coward. Hmm. All right. Our triumph was never in twelve ninety nine. And we've got an error already. This is a long rope. Okay. This isn't precarious at all. Just telling the story of this place, I guess. Mirror stone, purple eye, green eye, and a bunny girl in a floating island. Pardon me if I'm a little skeptical about that. I forget what her whole tale is here. I got a recipe book. Goddesses tiaras, saintess dresses, useless shit. Oh my. Axes of evil on the soot bonces. Then take them out. Uh, let's do... I don't have Dragon Slash anymore, but I have Critical Plane. <laughs> Ow. Thou art an soul. And then there was one. There we go. Ooh, he has 19? Claws, spears, fisticuffs. Uh, excuse me, vacuum smash. Word for activating 20 skill slots. Come on, something here has to have metal slimes. Go for claim. That's right, it costs a Fuck ton of MP, I forgot about that. I mean, that works too. <laughs> any metal slimes? Any at all? Why am I getting so many errors today? I was completely fine yesterday. Okay, that's one down. And that's the other. Wonderful. Alright, what else do we have? We have one more of these guys, which probably won't have any metal slimes. Didn't think so. Always worth looking. Eh, may as well.
202. Damn. Uh, let's just do this. I did it. All right. Uh. Uh. Oh, right. I need to follow you. Hello there, handsome. Fancy a quick puff puff? Um. Could you let me follow, please? Here's the lady. Sure. <laughs> Don't be nervous now. Just relax. Oh, you're so muscly. <laughs> Let me work out these knots. Does that feel good? You'll tell me if it hurts, won't you? Just wait. When she means knots. Okay. All done. You can open your eyes now. She means the knots that she tied. <laughs> My ankles are in pieces. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Now where the hell is that aura calcum? I've completely forgotten where I came from. I think this is where I want to go. That's undead dragons. We got an equable emerald and a blue eye. And a treasure chest. An agate of evolution! That'll be useful later. Can I? That's where I just came from. Okay. Alright, this is locked. My eyes. What happened with your eyes? Okay, I think there's a chest in here. Ooh, and a tackle. I got a chrono crystal. I feel like I probably should be fighting some of these guys. It's me from SpongeBob. Yes, but that's, that's, uh, I'm wondering if, like, you saw something bright or something. Because nothing bright happened, I don't think. Sense. 
This thing has way too much health. There we go. Alright, so that was a dead end. Where, oh where, is the Oracalcum at? Probably need to work my way back up. Nice. I think this is a different brain drainer. Okay. I think this was a different spiral that I'm working my way up now. So it's probably at the top of the spiral. <laughs> and we have another error. Globules. Alright. I'm glad that there's more than one way to get molten globules. Because liquid metal weapons are going to be a piece of work later on. <clears throat> Gold nuggets. Oh, I don't want to mess with the killing machines. Those things do not let up. Alright, am I... I found a chest. I found a bad axe! Um, how does that compare with the one that he has? It's one less without improvements. What do I need to do? What do I need to improve it? I need... Hold up. I have zero. And I will need... I can't. Okay. Impairing the attack power of anyone in hits. Okay, so by... I don't, I don't know if it's a used item. But I guess it's got a side effect of when I hit somebody, there's a chance that it lowers the attack power. Which is good, I guess. It's too bad I can't improve it any more than it already is. So, I guess for now, it's a good thing to have. There's something over here. I'll take that. One Recolite. You can upgrade in post-game. Ah. Oh, I don't want to mess with you. I don't want to mess with you. Leave me alone. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not a good sign. That's one. Ow. Ow. See, it's worse because this thing, you can get them in groups and they all attack twice. Not items.
3,200. Oh, whew, 17 skill points. Grabs all increase by 47. Or 247. Serena. You require some spear work. Improve critical hits. Thunder thrust. You don't get lightning thrust. Chips and be like water. Okay, let's do that, I guess. And then... 14, 12... Oh, wait. I hit this so I can unlock this. Because I think this is... Yeah, this is a harpistry. Holier hymns. Increases the effectiveness of hymns. That would be good. But it costs 40. Well, what does this do? Worm Whip. Okay. Okay. Savvy Sapphire. An Artful Amethyst. And a Fire on My Ass. Where am I now? Overlooked Cavern. I think that might be where I want to go? I might be in a bad way. Yes, this is definitely where I want to be. But... Oh, I something tells me we found our special ore. Something tells me I've got something on the way. You have got to be kidding me. Uh honey, are you okay? Okay. You know what this is? It's ore. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? Ori calcum. Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is the rarest metal in the world. I wish Mia was here to see this. Oh, my. So this is the ore we were looking for. Got more errors! Guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big. Uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. And I'm sure even the shavings off of it's probably worth a lot. We're one step closer to making that sword. But we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. No? I'll take it! <laughs> So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Golopolis. Mm. Mm. And they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Ah, uh, yes. Lantern, eh? I found this pretty funny. It didn't even walk around him, it just. 
Because that. A legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star. Oh. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that. A story. And down the other side. Not so sure. I mean, if a Lord of Shadows rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend. Are you even listening, laddie? <laughs> oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. Heard everything you needed to hear, did you? All right then. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lanterns on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Oh wait, there's a magic door over here. I think I got this magic door. Hello. That was just a normal one. Mini metal. Nothing. Nothing. Pretty Betsy. Two thousand gold. Recipe book for making the magic happen. Hocus loci, hocus hats, fizzle retardant suits. And seed of skill. Neat. I'll hold on to that until there's like a time when I need just one more skill point. Okay, let's go in here, rest up. And let's go here, deposit this. I almost have 300,000 in the bank. Damn. Alright, now we'll go over here and speak with the Sultan. Why am I getting so many errors all of a sudden? Reckless heroics will get you killed. Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Hmm. you. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, your majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings, and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be... 
This yep. is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Chameleon and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the runes more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. Reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these runes ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. Hmm. All righty then. So now we go off to those ruins. We're actually almost done for the day. We'll probably end this off today um, after we see the ruins cutscene. I'm definitely going to have to do some grinding later, so I'll... Um, tonight, I'll see about doing some grinding on my own. I, I don't... I just slept. But let's see what you have to offer. Rapier, fizzle foil, cast iron sword... Lord's Sword, a golden great sword that increases the chance of the wielder inflicting a critical hit. What? It's 22,000. This is the normal cruise ring. Iron Lance is. Well, hold up. Yeah, no, the Paladin's Lance is better. The Overlord's Axe. It's a g good against humanoid monsters. Beast Claws. Ooh. What can I do for selling? That. Oh, I probably should have kept that actually now that I think about it. Okay. So, I do at least want this Lord Sword. Oh. 
Let me see this real quick. Plus 163. So it'll go up by 19. And it's currently... Down... It starts at 144, so it goes down by... Shit, I'm blanking. Seven. It goes down by seven, but it will max out at... 12 more. Yes, please. Can I improve it? That's the other thing. Focus level. Hello. Uh, that could be good. It's only a two-star difficulty? This is a buff first. That's fine. Fuck, I need you to heal. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, thank God! Perfect! Oh, wait. I could probably do something like this. Hold up. And then... Nope, I'm not going to do that anymore. We're done. Thought I could get a perfect on that. I'd probably still get a perfect. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I got five pearls for it. Alright, now what do I need to rework? This. 16. Unnecessary items. Alright, this, this I can make. Two star, which means that'll give me five. I want 16. I need 11. So let's do something else. Um, this is two and a half. Do I have any three stars? This is a three star. That gives me eight. Can't buy ice crystals. Um... Can't buy ice crystals, still. Let's just do a bunch of these. Five perfectionist pearls. That's ten. That was for two stars. So now if I forge a two and a half two and a half. I might get me six. I get me seven for all I know. Sizzly puff. And then 
multi bash. All right. Let's do a double whammy here and a triple whammy here and another double whammy. Nice. Too much. It didn't heal. Come on. Thank you! Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> oh, that was so close to being bad. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I got seven pearls. Alright, so now I can rework the Lord's Sword. <sighs> this is going to be a weird one. Too much. Thank you. I do no better than when he started. Fuck. If I could just if I had just completed that one at the top. Oh no. Shit. Ah. Sucks. Huh. All right. I want to go until I get the uh, the cutscene here, and then I'll cut it off there. I will definitely do some grinding, and I'll try to rework this thing properly. Uh, later? I want to go that way. But for now, let's just do this deal. No, 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 no. You agreed to do this. Come. We must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, your highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I'm afraid I must refuse. Do you He's have definitely gotten more confident since, since before. The celestial sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Creepsy-poo. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Sylvando. Uh, what an uh, unexpected pleasure. Something said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy. Hmm. Ah, I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, your highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! You know who I am, your highness? But of course! 
You are my hero. You are every aspiring knight's hero. To serve under your command is my life's ambition. I am honored, your highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to butt in, your highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent. I would be very much obliged. The runes can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there. Alright. Another thing is that some of these cacti are fake now. And hide giant things. Basically like land alizarins. Like that. So we're just going to avoid that and head off in this direction. And just, you know, handle this for right now. Can I help you? Taking a nap, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Oh, truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? Uh, hmm. hmm. Probably not many alive. Hi. You're a special one, darling. Don't go changing, hmm? What are these ruins, anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own in the middle of the desert? Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers, or... Some such nonsense. And just walks over his face. Casually. They were built for something very important. I just know it. <gasps> Ooh, maybe some kind of stage. <gasps> what a place to perform. Can you imagine? Probably not. Your Highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? What's up with you? Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. The star is What's falling. Happening? The lantern. Oh, oh, oh. I 
it's falling! It's falling! It's falling! We're gonna be squished! Lord Robert, it is not safe here. We must fall back. Oh, give me a minute, will you? I think I can make out what the runes are saying. I was very confused as to how this one ended the first time I played through. It just seemed real uneventful. And then... And then we got to the post game and I was like, oh. Shadows. The lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not? Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. That was the savior of Galopolis. He spared us all from the falling star. Do you even know who that is? Hmm. The kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. <laughs> yes! Calasmus. Oh. Hmm. What could that mean? Good question. Why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom. Maybe he knows something. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, that's where I'm gonna have to end it for now. Um, I'm gonna go save over here. Uh, so next time, I'll have leveled up a bit. I'm gonna work on actually over-leveling. Because this is way too tough, and it's not entertaining to watch me grinding for half the time that I'm playing. So, I'm gonna go back to Battleground, and hunt some liquid metal slimes. Now that I have critical claim, uh, I can just delete them whenever I see them, hopefully. If they stick around. Um, but yeah, that way, when we come back tomorrow, I'll be a little better suited for uh, progressing through the game. And I'll also try to upgrade... All the weapons and all that. But yeah, until then, this is where I'll leave it for the day. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thanks, Zach, for returning once again. Um, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hope y'all have a good day. <laughs>